Hey everybody, this is uh, Trist10 and I'm about to give you a demo of a new feature that we've added to the site to basically streamline uh, a lot of interactions between players and management and players and admins and basically basically organize things and automate things as much as possible. So the new section we've created is called the Action Center. So if you're in the league right now and if you hover over news, you'll see the new uh, button here called Action Center. So in here it gives you a couple options you'll see. Now, as a player, you'll, you'll see My Action Center and Recent Actions. Now, if you're an administrator or a league official or an owner or a players association or a board of governor or anything like that, you'll see Open Actions. So, uh, I'm going to take it through as a player and show you basically uh, case scenarios of where a player would use it. So, right away, you see two options here. Create uh, a request or uh, issue a complaint. Now, under request, we can do things like I, I request a trade, uh, request my username change, or if the season hasn't uh, officially started yet, you might be able to want to change your position. So I'm going to show you position right now, or uh, position, basically your sign-up information. So it's going to ask you, uh, you know, what do you want to do? What league is it for? You know, I'm in the LGHL, and then here's all your sign-up information. If you said, oh, okay, I signed up as a center, and I want to be a, a defenseman, whatever, fill it out, issue the reason why you want to do it, so click the button and it will actually automatically do that for you. It doesn't even create a ticket, it just automatically does it and, and it logs that the user's done it. Uh, username the same, trade. If you're in the LGHL and you're like, oh, I'm tired of my team, you have to explain why. Uh, I want a chance to play as a goalie or something like that. And then you basically submit it. It'll actually issue a trade request. It'll actually do thing, automate things like it'll tell all your managers and owners and stuff like that, and your general managers, that this has happened. Uh, another thing too is you can only do it once per season in this case I've already done it. it says action failed for the following reasons you've already issued a trade this season so it tries to automate as much as possible so the other uh, thing I want to show you is the complaint system so let's say something happened in the game or maybe somebody cheated or there's a glitch or anything that happens so uh, hit complaint and uh, some sub, some sub options happen here so let's say it was an in-game complaint uh, let's say uh, somebody had some board play so right off the top, actually I'm going to do impending process because I've already got, so you have a nice little description of what it is right here. So again, ask you what league it is. Okay, what was the date of the infraction? So I'm going to say the second. Now what happens when you do this, based on this two information, it's going to pull all the games. So it's pulling all the games from the LGHL that happened on uh, December 2nd there. So I'm going to say, oh, where is it? Uh, actually, I'm going to use the Leafs because I'm on the Leafs to show a better example. So I'm going to say, oh, the Toronto Maple Leafs, there was a, an infraction there. So another cool thing about this is you can actually tag multiple users. So one complaint could have be on many users. So I'm going to say it was on, let's say, Everett. And uh, there's a couple of guys I know that are on the roster right here. So, hey, these two guys, you know, they, they, uh, they're they part of this, uh, this complaint that I'm going to issue. So I'm going to say, you know, guys were... Guys impeded my pro progress to win and score. So it'll actually stop you from posting improper stuff. So it's going to say, hey, you forgot to collect the check the verified checkbox. So anything you um, don't do correctly, it won't actually submit it. So make sure you fill it out properly. So I'm going to say, I verify the statement is. Uh, is accurate. Another thing in this box, you could provide links and stuff like that. If you had images, you could put, you know, hey, here's a video of it. Just whatever you would want to do, just post the actual link right here in this box. Now, if you do that, uh, the reason why I did it is the box and not separate fields is because there might be multiple videos or multiple images and stuff like that. Use this box to be as descriptive as possible because the more you do, the better. Uh, the people that were, will review your action will have more to go on. So just common knowledge. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to submit it. All right, so your action has been successfully created. So now as an administrator or a person who has access to this, they're going to see a list like this. So they can see, okay, there's a complaint that came in. It's an in-game complaint, and, and it was an impeding progress. They can see who it was from. They can see it was the LGHL. They can see it was in the NHL versus the AHL or CHL. S16 is the actual season, and then there's an actual link to the game. So if they click it, they're going to see something like this. So what, what we do, first of all, is we see a description of it, and it's from Tristan. You can have a quick link to his account. Uh, view game. Since we attached a game, we can quickly just click that, and that's going to go into the actual game. Uh, here's the message. So another thing, too, is we have uh, for the people that actually will be reviewing these, they have a chat. So they could be like, uh, I'll take care of this one. Same as the team chat. So the actual people can communicate and properly, uh, you know, work on an actual ticket, I guess you can call. So the other thing about this, too, 
is because there's multiple users, you're going to issue multiple or different rulings. So in this case, this guy, I can see, it looks at previous infractions. This guy's got no previous infractions. This guy's got a whole bunch of test ones that I've done. I can see, okay, uh, in, in the past, I gave this guy a five-game suspension for the exact same thing, and then for a three-game suspension. So it, it's information to use based on, you know, the, to make a judgment. I'm just showing as much information as possible here. So to issue a ruling, you can issue a, a formal response of, uh, you know, how you found it. I could, you know, the the, uh, the board of governors or the actual commissioners can fill this out and then give a, a, a final reasoning. They would enter that in here, et cetera, et cetera. Now, so actually on the individual players, they would issue an actual ruling. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to issue this guy an actual league warning. And for this guy, I'm actually going to issue a suspension. I'm going to say, hey, you get a five game suspension. I can say five game or five week, whatever that number is, it uses that. Or if, if the owners wanted to, or the management wanted to, they can actually issue a ban. And this ban ties into the actual banning system that we already have. So it's pretty, cut and pretty, pretty, pretty easy. Also, uh, they can add somebody to this complaint. Like, let's say they found out it was also another guy. I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to add this dude in just for, and say he gets a warning. I'm going to give this guy a five game ban. Uh, league warning. Uh, final ruling. I don't know, just whatever they would type in there. So, uh, one thing that's going to happen is when a ruling is issued, it's going to notify all the proper parties and log everything properly. So, for example, I've set myself up as the Toronto Maple Leafs management. So, here's a case where when this ruling gets done, here's an, a ruling on three of my players. I'm going to be warned and uh, uh, basically uh, informed of all this information. So, let's go ahead and actually issue it. And it's actually, it's actually sending me text messages to my phone. And it should be done, and it is. So now I'm going to show you. If I go to my notifications, I can see, hey, your player. Here's all the players right here. Uh, your player Fiddy has been issued a league warning because I gave him a league warning. Uh, your player Everett has been issued a five-game suspension, and then the other guy was also issued a league warning. I can click on it, and it'll actually go to the uh, the public form. Let's see, and this is the actual public viewing of it. I can see, okay, here's the information, here's what I just wrote, and then there's the actual handouts. Another way, a place that shows up in League News, I can see, okay, this guy's been issued a League warning. Everything's well documented. Uh, I'm going to show you also, if you actually filter by the user. So, where's Fiddy here? I go to Fiddy. Obviously, in his news, when I go to News, there we go. Video has been issued a league warning in season 16. And again, if I viewed his profile, it basically anywhere we show news. There you go. Issued a league warning. We actually filtered by the uh, LGHL. There's just the HL warning. So everything's well documented. Uh, everybody gets properly notified. It's an all inclusive, all in one place system to basically uh, for the management to properly. Uh, run the management section and for the users to issue complaints and whatever needs to happen everything's in one place it tries to take do as as much automation as possible so that uh, uh, it's not the uh, the management doing all these different tasks or creating all these different threads or this and that it's pretty cut and dry and uh, pretty good addition to the site and hope you guys enjoy it. thanks